Welcome back. Anglers looking to hook a kokanee salmon. Well, they won't have to travel too far off the Wasatch Front. Meteorologist Alana Brophy explains where to find them and why. More than 17,000 kokanee salmon now call East Canyon State Park home. Historically, East Canyon has had kokanee in the reservoir, but due to some drought events, uh, we lost that population over the years, and so this is an exciting event to bring this species back to the reservoir. The Division of Wildlife hatched these salmon back in October, then released them by truck into the stream running into East Canyon Reservoir. You're probably right there. Right there. The stream release protects the salmon from bigger fish that would act as predators at this point in their life, but it also serves a bigger purpose. It imprints them, so it teaches them where the stream is in relation to the reservoir so that when they do mature and return to a stream, they, they have a, a sense of what stream to go back to. Kokanee are known for their spawning, which they only do once in their lifetime. It happens in the fall, and this species of fish makes it exciting for the whole family. They get all these morphological features like a big kipe, so a jaw that extends out of the face, bright green, and then their bodies turn a bright red, and you can actually see them throughout the entire streams. State Park Manager Chris Harimoto says the kokanee will join wipers, rainbow, brown trout, and smallmouth bass already in the reservoir. The fish will grow to about 14 to 16 inches, and Harimoto says that means excitement for anglers. There's so much food supply in this reservoir, right? These fish will get nice and big and healthy, and they'll definitely put a fight on. Reporting in East Canyon, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News.